Hey guys, and welcome back to Strike. When we last left off, we had just finished the Hawaii mission. Now, let's get on to mission two. Um, the one thing that I have done, I have removed the filter on this emulator, so it's now nice and sharp. I didn't even know you could do that. I was fiddling with some settings, and I managed to do it. And holy shit, I'm glad that's gone. <laughs> anyway, let's go. When I met Malone, he wasn't Malone. He was a, uh, I met a man who had no recognizable features. Fire had destroyed him and he needed I needed to rebuild his face. I asked him for a photo and he gave me the photo on the left. Later, right before surgery, he showed up with a photo of Malone on the right and insisted I used it. It was not until years later that I realized this guy was actually the drug lord Carlos Ortega. Oh no, so that's what happened to the other half of the ugly club. I wondered why Ortega's body was never found in the bus after the jungle campaign. But then again, there wasn't much bus left either. Yeah, we fragged it pretty hard. Uh, Ortega fully assumed Malone's identity and sent assassins to eliminate me. I have been hiding on the island ever since. The Green Berets you rescued have learned that Malone's plans include launching the stolen mirrors into space on a satellite reflecting device to use with his laser weapon. Laser weapon? Hell. We are still searching for the location of the laser. Our own satellites have spotted destro a destroyer visiting three retrofitted oil rigs in the Bajar region. We believe Malone stopped piling jets. Your mission is to clear the rigs of enemy weapons and personnel. Be prepared for enemy contacts and for possible rescue missions at sea. We have not cleared the area of civilians yet to avoid alerting them to our presence. If needed for rescues, recapture our stolen transport chopper. Finally, deny the enemy fighters airspace and destroy them before they can launch a strike on the coast. Prepare for the largest rig for a ground attack. Your new MR9 assault rifle will aid you once inside. The MR9 is a combination weapon, accepting both 200 rounds of caseless ammo and 9 rockets. Aye, she's pretty cool. Right, so this mission is not too bad, actually. It's quite a quick one, to be honest. Um, I don't know if you can tell that I've got the filter on. Let me just switch it on a minute. That's with the filter on, and it makes everything kind of odd and blurry not really sure why you'd want the filter on but if you turn it off with alt and zero oh you get razor sharp um goodness and i can't believe i've never noticed that feature before or that you can turn it off anyway enough about that so radar at the pumping station oil fields destroy the pumping station and enemy oil fields on the coastal cliffs blasting these monitoring stations will keep them from tracking your location yeah one thing i like about this being so sharp as well is the uh, text is a bit easier to read and everything just stands out a little bit more it's kind of strange that you can have a filter but hey i mean i guess some people might like that more options are always good so, they're going to launch mirrors into space with a giant laser weapon. Sure. You do you, boo. But we took the mirrors, so I'm not really sure how that's going to happen. Right, this pad is used to transfer to an alternate vehicle. Yeah. So we have GUI pitbulls. Pitbull anti-aircraft cannons. Power 200. Oof. Um, no, armor 200. Damn, power 200 would be scary. Uh, power 25, which ain't nothing to sniff at. Sharpshooting ship-mounted anti-aircraft gun. Short range but accurate and aggressive. Lives up to its name. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're quite nasty. Ooh, check them out with the filter on, though. Oh, man, it just, yeah. It blurs it up quite a lot. It's like watching it through an old fuzzy CRT TV, but then I guess that's kind of the point, I suppose. Um... Which would be fine if we were playing it on a CRT TV, but we're not. Armoured AA bunker. Armoured aircraft. Uh, Anti-aircraft bunker. Armour 150, power 25. Steel walls make this snug little boombox hard to damage. Rapid fire gun can Swiss cheese you if you're a step too slow. Yeah, they can. And we have AAA MXL flat cannon. And that also has 150 armour. 
and 20 points of power. Large freestanding rapid fire weapon. Big bark, big bite. Big funeral if you aren't careful. Oh, at least they're going to give us a big funeral. That's pretty nice of them. Um, X9 Sea Snake Gunboat. Armor 150, power 30. Highly maneuverable gunboat with speed and ultra quiet engines. Silent as a serpent with a deadly bite. Ah, they're nothing to worry about. Phalanx MX armor 150 power 30. These things suck. These things are a little bit more dangerous. And yeah, just look at it with the with the filter on. It's just it blurs it up so much. Uh, gyroscopic tracking and auto motion targeting systems capable of creating a literal wall of projectiles. Deadly. They are. Uh, scorpion attack chopper. These things are gnarly as well. Uh, armor 300 and power 50. Your evil twin anti-helicopter chopper with a dual cockpit and two chain turrets. Yeah, nasty. Nasty things. Anyway, the first thing we have to do is to take on the radar. Radar at the pumping station. Destroy the pumping station and enemy oil fields. Coastal cliffs blasting. These monitoring stations will keep them from tracking your location. But we're going to be doing more than that whilst we're here. We're going to completely flatline everything here because there are some goodies in these buildings and uh, we really do want to get the most out of these out of this area I should say let's waste these as well get out of here this is my house alright let's destroy this as well lovely Mission one complete. Easy as that. See that? See that armor repair? Very nice. Now we're actually going to be doing most. Oh god, most of this mission in a different helicopter, just because we're going to be fighting a lot of nasty things. And there's our quick winch. And we really need the armor, to be honest. The armor makes a big difference here. So let's scoop up that. Fire in the hole, asshole. Right, so that's pretty much it, I think. We've got some fuel, we've got some... Oh, God, hello. Last thing you want is to be coming back to get patched up after being knocked around and have one of those things uh, nipping you in the ass. Right, small oil rigs. Secure smaller oil rigs protected by phalanx weapons. Destroy the two smaller drilling platforms. Take out the enemy weapons, guarding the rigs to reclaim the transport chopper and landing zone. Yep. This guy, Mr. Malone, seems to have, like, crazy amounts of money. Actual crazy amounts of money. And I was like, why is my... Oh, God, here we go. Why is my uh, <laughs> desktop audio not recording? But it is. This game's just apparently really freaking quiet. Right, there is our chopper that we like so damn much. And we... Oh, God, almost wasted the fuel there that would have been bad armor's down to 470 already now it did mention the possibility of doing sea rescue missions which you know what that means guys that means we will definitely have sea rescue missions to uh, achieve but that's fine ah okay interesting uh i guess we can't transfer to that helicopter yet actually until we take out the other one that's possibly problematic because oh boy what weapons we got left we got plenty of weapons left that's fine yeah i guess we've got to neutralize both of these first oh that hurts oh that hurts yeah that really hurts what are we down to 185 armor do we risk it for a biscuit do we risk it for a biscuit Oof. okay Cruise ship was just attacked and is seeking. You have less than three minutes to save the passengers. Okay, well, we kind of pacified this area. So, what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the other helicopter. We've got 125 armor left on this thing, which isn't too bad. To be honest, we're never going to get back in this for the rest of this mission. So, it's all good, mate. Let's go park this thing up. Now, you actually have a hell of a lot of time to uh, finish this. Mission three minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but it really is. All right, let's get this bad boy out. Now, this bad boy has the two machine guns, which actually, you know, it does significantly more damage than I thought. So we've got um, sinking enemy, well, sinking cruise ship attacked by enemy warships. Save the twenty known survivors of a cruise ship. 
uh, blasted by the enemy. Fly them to safety at the small rig nearby for their sh uh, before their ship explodes. New feature of this game. If you look at the bottom left of the screen there, we have a time indicator. Yes, timed missions. I don't think there's like loads of them, but I don't like time missions. But they're not too bad in this. I've certainly had worse. Now, you can see some guys are in the water. And some guys are on boats. If you guess that we're going to be looking after the drowning ones first, you'd be right. Now, where else are they? I know there's more boats scattered around. Well, okay, that's fine. Let's just go grab these guys first then, I suppose. Aha, there we go. Let's kill the shark. Bit awkward, but I guess we can have some shark fin soup or something later. Now, who's left? Oh, right. Yep, thought as much. You can get out of here, buddy. Now, I'm guessing these guys do eventually drown if we leave them flailing around in the water too long. Uh, we're getting attacked by one of these bloody sea snake bastards. That's fine. He's gone. Now, uh, there's another boatload of these guys over here. Yeah, there we go. I don't know why they're just like letting this one drown on his own. I mean, I guess he smells or something. I'm not sure. Seems a bit weird to me. So we found 18... 19. Is it just 18 that we found? Well, that's unfortunate. I guess one of them drowned then. So yeah, I guess there is a little bit of a time limit for that. That's a shame. Uh, also, my practice run. I only managed to get 20 as well. Uh, I only managed to get 19. 27 seconds left. If we do hover around and wait... This guy will eventually just die. Uh, and explode. But we're just going to be wasting fuel. Right, let's go sweep and clear the rest of the uh, little oil rig. I mean, it doesn't matter too much if we get beat up. Because we've got a lot of passengers that we can drop off. Ammo crate destroyed. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Right. There goes the cruise ship. So we're down to 34 fuel. What we should do, actually, if we're down to 34 fuel, let's go and get the fuel on land. Might as well grab the uh, furthest away fuel first, especially if we've got time to do it, because that's efficiency, yo. Uh, yeah, we need the armor, I suppose. Do we need the ammo? No, we've got loads of ammo. The one good thing about this chopper, I suppose, is the ammo. It just it lasts. It really lasts. Maybe not in the main gun, but on the side-mounted machine guns, it lasts a very long time. Because they even um, with the auto fire, they fire very, very, very slowly. Now, small oil rigs are pacified. Passengers are sorted. Now we have a destroyer, intercept enemy destroyer. Covers a large uh, covers large oil rig with an alert zone. Intercept Malone's destroyer. It's been. It has already been disabled by one of our friendly Russian boomers. It could attack the coast if not stopped. They really worry about the coast getting attacked. Okay, that's fine. We can handle that. Now, talking about attacking the coast, what is there? You have a sea snake in the area. Uh, it's got pit bulls. Hmm. And scorpions. Okay, that's cool. Well, we can handle a scorpion in this thing. And the only trouble is we've got 19 um, passengers on board this thing. And that takes a heck of a long time to actually drop off. Oh, God. Right. Oh, man. Lag. Oof. Well, we evaporated the scorpion. Couldn't have happened to a nicer chap. Oh, we got armor there. Oof. Yeah, we'll take the armor. Sure. Why not? Let's get rid of this last pit bull. There we go. And we'll frag the chopper. Now, we are going to save our rockets in case we need them. And uh, we will need them. <laughs> We're definitely going to need them at some point. 
So, that's the destroyers taken care of. Russian sub. Russian nuclear submarine disabled by Malone's destroyers. Airlift the crew of the Russian boomer uh, to safety. Then skyhook a repair cargo, uh, a repair cargo from the awaiting tugboat to their engineers before the reactor melts down. Yes, we can do that. Okay. Oh, sea snake. Let's get rid of you. Ah, right, yeah, one problem. We actually can't pick anybody. Oh, hello. Yeah, get out of here. Anti-chopper chopping my ass. Uh, right, okay, well, we're going to have to drop some guys back off because we are way over our weight limit. We can only actually pick up one more person, which that ain't no good, chief. Okay, uh, what I might actually do as well is I'm going to skip this, or at least some of this, because my god, guys, dropping off a full load from this helicopter takes ages. One, two, three, yeah, <laughs> you get it. There's like 20 people to drop off, so I'll catch you in a second. And we're back, guys. Okay, that took about 7,000 years, but that's fine. Right, let's go re-engage these guys down here. Actually, talking about re-engaging these guys. Oh, there is a scorpion down there. And there's a sea snake over there. Well, we better go waste those on the way. Uh, what's up? I feel not bad, I suppose. Probably going to be a little bit low by the time we finish these missions. There's the Mohican. The Mohican can rest there for now. Definitely don't really need it for the rest of this mission. Now... What I do like about this Black Hawk is it can just soak up so much punishment. It is a glutton for punishment. It really is. Right, okay, cool. You're, oh, there's another one there. I was going to say, when we took out the destroyer, we actually took the destroyer out really quickly. Yeah, because these guys are supposed to kind of interrupt you as you're destroying the destroyer. But obviously, we wasted it so bloody quick. We didn't really get the chance. Yeah, this this thing is definitely better than I gave it credit for originally. Right, well, we just, like, evaporated that scorpion as well. Let's go grab these dudes. Hope you guys aren't too irradiated, because, you know, I don't really want a dose of uh, radiation from you guys, if that's quite all right. Man, look at this thing. It's just eating people. It's, like, it's, just, it's a monster. And I do love the model for that um, boomer as well. You know, the graphics in this game are very good. Now, let's go and grab this. There are some tugboats dotted around that have uh, supplies for us. I think they only really have ammo. Maybe there's one or two with fuel. But to be fair, it's a really short mission. And there's no secret hidden bits on this mission like the first level. There's no Elvis or anything, or no extra lives. Oh, there's some fuel there. That's really bloody handy. Cheers, guys. Russian fuel. It's probably vodka or something. Now, jet fighters. Mm-hmm. Blast enemy jet fighters before takeoff. Look at these things. They look monstrous. Destroy the enemy planes on the large oil rig. Blast the jets before they take off. Watch the jets on the aircraft elevators. Yeah, this... This oil rig is a tough nut to crack. This thing is packed, bristling with weapons. Um, armored A, bunkers, it's got... Well, I mean... Okay, can't really see much on there, actually. Um, phalanx. Well, you're just going to have to take my word for it, okay? The game doesn't want to show us all the weapons that are actually packed all over this thing. But trust me, this thing is packed with weapons. Like these phalanxes here. There we go. He's gone. Ooh, you ain't going nowhere, sunshine. This guy is really... Now this guy's taken off. He's actually really freaking hard to hit. You can hit him. You can destroy it. But it's really hard. Okay, I actually managed to take him out. As he was flying off when I was testing this. But, yeah, really hard to hit. We can actually get our, our next co-pilot here. Now, I think that's the only jet that takes off, which is fine, because you're allowed to have one uh, escapee. 
At least I think he's the only one that takes off. I hope he's the only one that takes off. And we've got loads of armor here, so we're not going to worry too much about taking the shots. Although, remember what I said in the first episode? Yeah, we'll be fine. We can soak up loads of damage. And then we got absolutely eviscerated by that little band of idiots. Now, see what I mean? There's these little sly ones. Now, these are F-29 fighters, but we'll find that out in the next video. Right, phalanx. Oh, God. Come on. Take it. Now, you can't jink and bank uh, around targets like you could in strike, uh, jungle strike and desert strike. They've changed it. There is no ability to do that in this one. Um, I don't know why. In fact, I'm going to put that to the test right now. Okay, ignore me. You can. It's just a different button combination. So, on the Super Nintendo version, you cannot. Which is interesting. But then, the Super Nintendo version stinks. So, I like the Super Nintendo. I do. But the Strike games were better on the Mega Drive. They just were better music. They're actually designed for the Mega Drive. Uh, I think... Actually, the first game was designed more with the Amiga in mind, but I might look that up, actually. There's something to do. There's something like that. I actually think they were, it was originally an Amiga game, or originally a Mega Drive game. Something like that, but it didn't, it, you know, the, the Mega Drive was the best platform for it. <clears throat> Especially with Jungle Strike and Desert Strike. Uh, jungle Strike and Urban Strike. Now, this is our co-pilot. This is Stinger. Hey, Stinger. I'll bet when you used to smuggle cargo, you never thought you'd get to be cargo. Glad to have you on board. Yeah, she is amazing. Sh look at the firepower now. She is really good, and her accuracy is off the charts as well. Um, there's only actually one more... Uh, co-pilot that we can get but she's epic <clears throat> anyway guys let's put her down <laughs> low fuel really and this begins one of the new parts of this game this is the ground missions and I was never a huge fan of these ground missions as a kid I used to think they were really difficult and really struggle with them but they're not that bad now, this is technically mission three, so I'm actually going to end the video here, guys. And when we come back, we're going to have this as a separate video, just because it's easier that way. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.